On today's episode a delicious appetizer to mark the beginning of spring vegetable spring rolls with a special ingredient Hey everyone this is Bombi Namaskar and welcome to curries with Bombi Okay my friends so I will start with a special ingredient that is soya chunks or TVP I soaked it in hot water along with a teaspoon of salt for about an hour After an hour the soya chunks swell up on being rehydrated Discard the water Then put the soya chunks on a clean cloth and squeeze out the water very well. Using a knife, mince the soya chunks. You can even use a food processor, but make sure that the soya chunks do not turn into a paste. They should still have a little bit of character to them. The chewy texture of the soya chunks is a great combination with the vegetables. You can leave it out but please do give it a try at least once. I'm sure you will thank me later. Next in a mortar and pestle I added black peppercorns, a few cloves of garlic, and only the stems of coriander leaves. Some of you know about my extreme love for coriander leaves, but today for a change I won't be using coriander leaves. as they lose their character totally in a spring roll and i feel it is such an insult for the delicate herb but the stems impart a beautiful flavor so do use the stems okay so we need a texture like this pan on medium high heat add very little oil as you do not want your filling to turn oily then in goes the ground garlic black pepper and coriander stems stir for a few minutes Once they turn fragrant, add shredded cabbage. Increase the heat to high so that the vegetables get fried and not steamed. Then the gorgeous orange carrots dive in, followed by green beans. Add the chopped soya chunks and red bell pepper. Bell pepper is optional. This bell pepper has reached its end, so I am adding it before it goes bad. Remember guys you need to stir the vegetables on high heat to get rid of all that moisture. The last thing you want is some soggy and watery vegetables. Then comes the seasonings. Soy sauce, chili sauce for that heat. I also like adding a little bit of sesame oil for that added flavor, but it is totally optional. A sprinkle of sugar to balance the flavor and a sprinkle of salt. Stir till the vegetables just start becoming tender, but they should still have a little bit of crunch on them. See, all the vegetables are still holding on to their beautiful shape and color. This is exactly what we are looking for. Now switch off your stove and transfer the vegetables to a clean wide bowl or on a plate and allow them to cool down completely. It is very important for them to cool down or else the spring rolls will burst open while frying. or they may turn soggy. Okay, so now we will make a glue. Yes, you heard it right, my friends. You do need to make a glue. In a bowl, add flour and then water. Mix very well and you need to make a very thick paste. And your glue is ready. Okay, so my spring roll station is all set up. I'm using store-bought spring roll wrappers that you will get in the frozen section at your grocery store. Thaw them out following the package directions and then keep them covered with a damp cloth to prevent them from turning dry. Place a sheet on your work surface with one of the pointed ends facing you. Resist your temptation from adding too much of filling as the spring rolls may burst open while frying. I add about 2 tablespoons heaped of the filling. Then lift up the end. Bring it over the filling. Roll it tightly. Bring these two ends in the center. and again roll tightly
apply the glue and again fold it up tightly Now let's see a few more. Time to fry. Do not let your oil turn too hot as the rolls may burst open. At the same time, if the oil is not hot enough, then the spring rolls will be too oily. So I do a stick test. What we are looking for is a generous steady flow of bubbles. If the bubbles are too vigorous, then lower the heat and bring down the temperature of the oil before adding the rolls. Fry a few rolls at a time and do not overcrowd the pan. Overcrowding will bring down the temperature of the oil and you will end up getting very oily spring rolls which nobody wants. Fry them on medium heat for 3 to 4 minutes or until they get an even golden browning all around. They taste just like the ones that we get in restaurants. I would say even better. I know it's hard but please, please wait for 10 minutes my friends before digging in as the center is too hot. Serve this with a sweet chili sauce or any sauce that you like. I'm not a fan of sauce so I have them as is. The exterior is crispy and chewy and I'm telling you, those soya chunks add so much character to the filling. Please try this recipe and send me your feedback. And please smash that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Bye bye.